that's always the awkward part because it's like are we yeah, yeah we are we got the message so hello and welcome josiah hello nice to see you as always you too thank you for jumping in on a facebook live um this is your day your um your interview went out today or our interview and um, I was so excited to share you with my viewers. Now I have already on like some of my groups, they already know who you are because I'll send them these little things like, look at this and listen to this. And you know, because I love your work and I love the work of Neville Goddard. So, um, but for those who aren't familiar, this is Josiah Brandt and he is the speaker of the day on the Alchemy of Ascension Summit, which I will put a link to in the um, afterward in the bottom of the live. But I would love for you to just say hi, introduce yourself. This is very casual. You can pretty much say anything you want within reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good guideline. Yeah, so hello, everyone. Uh, and a special shout out to the students at the School of Imagination, uh, several of whom reached out to me. They were like, hey, when's your live tomorrow? I want to be a part of it. I want to tune in. So thank you. And hello, everyone. Um, I, you know, I, I actually just, before getting on with you, with Shayla, I, I watch the interview again because, you know, we record it and then I don't see it until it's released. So yeah. um, I was kind of wondering how you're going to sum up such a wide ranging interview because we, we covered a, a lot of things in the talk. And, you know, I, I thought that your, your, uh, your summary for the email was just fantastic. And when I read it, I was like, wow, that, that really did sum it up. And I'm, I'm excited <laughs> to, to watch it again. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Um, I saw the, uh, the live with um, Star Wolf yesterday. I thought that was just lovely. What a beautiful way to start uh, yeah. this experience. And I'm honored to be a part of it. Yeah, well, I am grateful to have you here. I, real quick, I'm going to, so I don't like have an echo while you're talking. Sure. I'm going to attempt to see. I'm honored to be a part of it. Yeah, see, okay. And then I'm going to turn my volume down. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be talking over you because there's a delay. All right. right. Yay. I can actually see. We've got Anissa. Hi, Anissa. <laughs> so now I can actually, if I, I have to like go back and forth, but I can actually see the comments now. So perfect. Awesome. Um, I think that's going to work. Okay. So, oh, it stopped. I don't know. I might have, yeah, no, I think I'm good. <laughs> this is definitely the fun and, part. Know, yes. Okay, so just saying, putting a summit together, I'm I'm like taking on way more technology mm. than my brain knows how to do. So I'm just kind of winging it. I'm like, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm gonna Facebook Live. I'm gonna Zoom to Facebook Live, mostly because I have a green screen behind me. This isn't real. This is art that oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> and I like this picture way more than my green screen. So, you know, just kind of, I'm, I'm figuring it out as I go, but we know all about that because you talk a lot about conscious life creation, creating your mm -hmm. life, school of imagination and anything we can imagine we can create in our lives. Yes. And um, that's what this is all about. So and I yeah. think it's so important just to kind of, to kind of dovetail with what you're saying. I think it's so important to stretch. Um, you know, I'm reminded in this moment about a, a student that reached out to me and was like, you know, I, I've, I've been studying this, this Neville Goddard stuff. I've been studying this imagination stuff. And I feel like I've created, you know, this, this state of perpetual Zen, which, which, is, which is great. And then the student was like, and then, you know, the, the world came along and all, you know, this bridge of incidents that were globally walking. And, you know, the student's like, you know, I, I feel like the state of Zen has kind of been in infringed upon you know by by something over here what what's going on and you know the term i have for this which i shared a little bit about is is evolutionary pressure and like we talked a little bit about it in in our uh, in our uh, summit video but i just want to say you know yeah yes when when using imagination when, when waking up the creative power of imagination we have the ability to create uh, a, a very beautiful state of, of stability of of knowing and of remembering but that doesn't mean that the winds don't blow. And I think that the, the whole reason we're here is to experience the blowing winds of, of evolutionary pressure in a manner of speaking and to, and to stretch and to become something more, something further. You know, there's, um, I, I just, I think it's, it's so important that we, we use this creative power to explore our edges, to explore mm -hmm. our possibilities. And yes, it, it can also provide, you know, supreme peace of mind. 
Uh, but I, I think the, the ultimate application of this wisdom is when you're able to experience supreme peace of mind in the stretch. You know, um, I, I have a, a background in yoga and we talk a lot in yoga about being, you know, comfortable in the discomfort, right? Or, you know, when, when, um, when the, the lockdown started in March, one of the new practices that I took on to level up my life was the daily experience of freezing cold showers every morning. And again, same thing, the, the idea of practicing comfort in the discomfort, being, being comfortable in the stretch. And I just, I, I think that there's um, incredibly potent wisdom to that. And if we all are truly here to unlock our, our fullest expression of our joyful self-expression, I think it requires stretching to get us there, to, 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 really, to really give life to that. So true. Yes. Mm. And, you know, like I find um, when, I mean, I love that Zen state. I love the bliss states. I love hanging out in those states. And I'm so grateful that I can get there. And, you know, and that's a lot of what I teach in Ascension training is, you know, we eventually get to that point of being able to generate rapture. Mm. Um, and yet, it's fleeting, you know, and we always want more. But the thing is, the more you do that and the more you practice those states, I feel like it just bubbles up the stuff that's that's blocking more mm. of that. So you want to reach a higher level, you got some blocks that you, otherwise you'd already be there, right? So mm -hmm. it just kind of bubbles that stuff up and we get to let it go. And I love the idea of being comfortable with that. Not necessarily, it's not always comfortable, <laughs> mm. but to, and, and maybe comfortable is extreme, but like just to be okay with it or just to allow it or be in, in surrender really. Yes. Right. Relaxing into it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and one of, one of the things, so um, through, through my work with this school, the most recent class that I hosted, um, we, we divided the students into little imagination groups, like little peer groups of, you know, maybe four or five students. And um, you know, my, my group that I was a part of in, in this has continued. We've, we've, we meet pretty much every week and we do little small group guided meditations, you know, just, just as, as, a, as a group of four or five people. And the topic that really came up uh, this week for our meditation was joy, just mm -hmm. the joy. And um, you know, it, it was such a, a beautiful reminder, you know, cause we, you know, we're always like, Kind of, kind of moving in and out of, of what we're present to, right? It's, it's like a, we're constantly kind of shifting, you know, whatever the, the topic is that is most prevalent in our consciousness. And, you know, to have, to have joy, you know, brought up and to really sit with that and to, to witness, you know, the other members of my imagination group in the joy just reminded me of, of what we're doing all of this for. You know, what, what really, I mean, yeah, comfort and the discomfort and like learning to stretch. And, and yes, when you start to look at some of these things, you're, your blocks can, can rise to the surface to be transmuted. And behind all of that, beneath all of that, and, and really the, the energy that carries all of that through is this energy of joy. And I think that's, that's so beautiful and so compelling to, to remember. And the cool thing about joy, and we, we talked about this in our, in our meeting this week, the cool thing about joy is that you don't really have to do anything. It's there. It's just about allowing it to rise, about allowing it to rise to the surface. And I just think that's, that's one of the, the coolest things about this exploration is, is understanding that, you know, you know yeah, I, I have all these ideas about you know, who I am and who I'm becoming, but really it's, it's the joy that is, that is the reward. It is the joy that, that makes you know, this life worth living. Ah, so true. You know, it makes me think of the laughing saints you know what I'm yes. talking about? When someone, I, I mean, I've heard the stories, I haven't seen them myself, but when someone truly becomes enlightened, people think they're insane because they just laugh, they just laugh. That's all they can do. Like, okay, I broke out and this is so funny and, and joyful, you know, like just, just, it's apparently once you get, you transcend the matrix and you know, like who we really are, this all seems pretty funny. <laughs> it does. The, the cleverness with, you know, how, how, how easily in some cases we are fooled by the illusion. I think that's, for me, that's one of the things that I find quite comical when I'm in those states where I just, you know, you can, you can clearly see through the illusion. It's like, wow, I can't believe I fell for that. You know, it's just, it's the, it's the divine joke. Um, but yeah, it, it really is. 
it really is is beautiful. And I think you know, I think the ultimate test, um, you know, of, of of imagination as a creative principle is the ability to find joy even in times of of trial. You know, Neville has this this saying. He calls it the furnaces of affliction, right? And he talks about how we're all refined through the circumstances that that really show up to create that evolutionary pressure. Really you know, show up to, to force us to ask new questions to remember who we are. And, you know, I, I really do think that's an, a never ending process. We're, we're constantly up leveling and expanding our, our awareness of, of who we are and what's possible for us. And I really do think that the ultimate test of the creative principle of imagination is to find and hold our state of joy as, as we move through all of this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and I have a similar way of, of approaching that in that I call, you know, we raise our frequency um, within the body, not going out of the body and essentially training where it's bringing more higher frequencies into the body mm. and then practicing holding that higher frequency longer and longer periods of time. So at first you might be able to just touch it or just get a glimpse of it or just a little teeny tiny feel what's bliss or what's rapture or what's, you know, incredible joy or ecstatic joy. And then you might just be able to scratch the surface, but the next time you get to it, you might be able to hold it for 30 seconds or a minute. And then, you know, you just keep practicing those states and I call it marinating or basking in those rapture states. And then you learn that, okay, you train your system. It's your nervous system has to upgrade really to be able to hold those types of frequencies. And especially so when we're inundated with, you know, the world and all the crazy stuff in it. Um, and I find personally, when I have some a huge project like a summit going on, it's it's a lot harder for me to get there because my my monkey mind, I'm like a squirrel. I'm like, I gotta do this, and I gotta do that, and I gotta do that, and I gotta do that. And it's like, wait a minute, I need to settle down and just enjoy this process for a minute. And it's hard to do it when you're so busy. It's a lot easier in a cave in the mountains mm. or in a you know, a, a solitary place where you don't have life going on, but it's, it's a massive like ninja practice to be able to do it in regular westernized civilization. Yeah, that, that reminds you to talk about the, the cave and, you know, doing it in isolation versus, you know, putting into practice in, in, in modern lifestyle. It makes me think of the retreat spaces. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, 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 done, I've done a number of, of retreats myself and I've also hosted um, a retreater to myself. And there is something you, you know, special and unique about being away from the routine, away from the normal everyday life. And you kind of enter this, you know, cocoon of, of love, joy, and bliss. And then, you know, it's like leaving that space. That's, that's really where the real work of the retreat comes into play because we call it, you know, re-entry training. How do, how do I take what, what I learned and what I experienced and all these, you know, beautiful things that, that I, I became present to while I was in this retreat space? How do I take that with me back into reintegration into my into my daily life into my modern lifestyle and um yeah it, it's it's there's just there's so much to explore here and it really is uh, yeah. a joyful journey it really is and yet also like on that topic of retreats when you go to a retreat and there's someone hosting it like josiah you're holding space for everybody you're mm -hmm. like holding the container for their presence to expand and for them to get it. And you're like, here it is. It's like holding a mirror in a way, right? Like you're reflecting back to them, like here you are, touch it, feel it. These are, these states are possible for you. You are this magical creator. And then they go away and you're not standing there holding the mirror for them anymore. So there is this like, okay, now I got to figure out how to do this on my own. But that's the joy of having a teacher and someone helping you and guiding you through it. It's not that they're doing it for you. They're just holding the space so you can feel it. And then when you go back home, you're like, okay, I got to remember, like, what is, what, you know, what was I doing? How did that feel? And practice. And it becomes a daily practice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So important. I'd yeah. love to shout out to a couple of people that are saying hi on here. Um, we've got... Anissa said, hello, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Daniel, Ben. Hey, Ben. Valerie. So we got some people watching. No questions. If you guys want to ask questions, um, feel free and I'll, I'll shout that out in a minute. 
but <laughs> I just want to acknowledge since we're live and it's my first time being able to actually see. <laughs> I mean, it was such an easy tweak from yesterday. I couldn't do it because I had the echo. I just, my, my coach, I had a call this morning, Alicia, thank you. And I just, uh, she's like, yeah, just turn down your volume on your phone. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Breakthrough. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank that's you. Great. Yes. That's hard. <laughs> and that's the awesome. thing with technology, and that's the thing with like all of these practices, right? Mm. They're not really that hard. You just have to know right. what to do and then do it. You know, yes. it's, hard. it's just trying, being willing to try it. So. Yes. Well said. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I do want to say for anyone that didn't, I, and people can get on here without joining the summit, that's perfectly fine. But for anyone that maybe isn't in the summit, um, and doesn't want to be, I get that too. We get a lot of email nowadays. Um, you're missing out, but I understand. Um, Josiah, would you tell people where they can find your work? Yeah. So, um, let's see a, a couple of places. So one is my website, schoolofi.org. Uh, that is the School of Imagination website, um, and we'll have some new courses that are launching uh, end of September, beginning of October there. So if you're interested in, in getting more information, you can check that out. I also have a Facebook group right here on Facebook. It's the Neville Goddard School of Imagination, and uh, you can submit a request to join that group, and we have uh, pretty, pretty lively conversations that happen there. Uh, shout out to my admin, Shweta, who does a fantastic job of, of organizing and moderating and also contributing to really uh, enlightening mind and consciousness expanding discussions in the Facebook group. That's a, a great place to connect. And then of course I have to tell you about my YouTube channel, uh, which is just Josiah Brandt on YouTube. Uh, if you search for Josiah Brandt and the keyword Neville, it'll take you right to uh, my library of work there. And um, that's, that's a great place just to get started. You know, if, if, you're, if you're not sure about you know, enrolling in a course just yet and you just wanna learn a little bit more, about imagination, about the creative power of imagination, about what I even mean when I say that, you can start um, on, on YouTube. That would be a great introduction. Yeah, that's where I first found you. And I started listening to you reading Neville, which, and I was, I was doing a search for Neville Goddard. So um, that's how I found your work on YouTube. And I, you know, I've said this before, you just have such a beautiful reading voice and you share it. Um, and I, I love, I said this in the interview too, how you'll, you'll read a passage that, and then it's important. Um, they're all important, but you know, like, especially important, you'll say, you'll stop and you'll say again and read it again. Mm -hmm. I just love that. Cause I'm like, Oh, I always just like tune up. I'm like, Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Again, it's important. I got to remember this. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. So that, that practice, which has just kind of become part of my signature style at this point, that was because I would be listening to him in his voice. And I found myself, you know, tapping on the screen to rewind. Yeah. And I found myself tapping on it maybe eight or nine times just to really understand what this man just said, particularly when it stood out to me as being, you know, particularly crucial to, to the point he was making. So I thought to myself, you know, when, when I read these, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my, my listeners a favor and, and just go ahead and say it again to keep them from, you know, scrambling for the phone to try to, to, try to rewind it. So... I mean, yeah. you know, some, sometimes when I'm listening to my own videos, I, I still rewind this. I can hear it twice, you know, so. I do too sometimes. Good stuff, yeah. yeah. I yes. love that part. And I know, like, when I'm walking, sometimes I'll walk and listen. I, you know, you're not going to pull out the phone and stop it, right. and, you know. You just And so I love that because it's just like, and if I'm daydreaming, it brings mm -hmm. me back when I hear mm -hmm. when I hear that again. And I was like, oh, Precisely, wait, pay attention. Yes. <laughs> It's like, yeah. ding. <laughs> yep, it's, so I, I, that's yeah. helpful. And, um, and then just you're so eloquent with the way that you share it and read it. It's really um, very well done. So everyone be sure and go to YouTube and check out Josiah's channel. And then um, also I want to say on the summit, if you're, if you got today's email um, and, and go to a speaker page, it's actually on both. You have a wonderful free gift. Um, and an incredible deal on some of your work um, that mm -hmm. you're offering at a, an amazing discount. So mm -hmm. I really highly recommend if anyone's interested in your work, grab it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The, the, um, the free gift, which I've already gotten uh, a lot of people uh, have already accessed the free gift, even just so far this morning. So welcome to all of you. Uh, the free gift about it's four, four lectures that are really all about the application. Uh, of these ideas 
and um, it's just there's so much so much gold there. Uh, so take, definitely take advantage of that. And then the the masterclass opportunity is for those of you that are maybe newer to these ideas, uh, but as soon as you hear it, you're like, oh man, this this is definitely for me. I, I can feel you know that there's some sort of expansion, some sort of upgrade for my life. You know, in 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 what is what is going on here? I wanted to make it available to you at a fantastic price point, so you have the opportunity to jump in with both feet and um, and start to apply this to your life. So yeah, um, but that's that offer is only available while this summit is live. So you have to jump on it. Yeah, and only through the summit. You have to be registered the for the summit, summit yep. to get it. So yeah, that's um that's one of the benefits. Lots of free gifts and lots of wonderful. Um, special deals and offers from our amazing speakers. So I want to get in here and read. Um, I'm seeing some comments. Um, Daniel says, I just want to say that I feel more than I, I feel more than I can say. And this is something I say to a lot of people. I feel more than I can say. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I hear that. Yes. And uh, the communication has occurred. I get what you're saying. Thank you. Yeah. And you know what? Feelings are really powerful. Feeling is the secret. Rich, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, and yeah, we've got some thank yous. You're welcome. Um, Anissa says, "I was enlightened by Josiah by Josiah's the first class of the speech and word as your birthright." Ooh, fantastic! You already had a chance to watch it. That's so great. Thank you for that feedback. That? And uh, you're just getting started there. It, it only gets better from there. So that's, yeah, fantastic start. Thank you for that. Yeah, quick starters. I love it. I yes. love it. And, you know, for people that are hungry for spirituality, for this work, I mean, this is, this is a great place to start. Mm, a great place yes, to start. Awesome. All right. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share? I, I try and keep them to about a half an hour. It doesn't have to close um, exactly. I, yeah, I just I just like to acknowledge you with Shayla. Thank you so much for putting this together. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say, as so this is my first summit that I've that I've been a part of. But I I can tell on my side as a speaker how much time and effort you've put into it, and you've done a fantastic job. You've made my job very easy by extension. I know that that's by design and uh, clearly a very a very uh, clear clearly defined imaginal picture behind what you're putting together here, and and I. I can see that and I admire that. So thank you for all of the, the effort that you're putting into this. I know that it's incredibly rewarding and we're only just beginning. This is day two. So um, what, a, what a wonderful start and thank you for having me. Thank you for doing this. Hmm. It's my pleasure. And you know, it's, it was such an honor to, I actually reached out to Josiah on the first summit for the mm -hmm. season one that I did and he didn't get the email in time because you were doing a retreat. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, you, you said you'd love to do the next one. And so I'm so happy that I got you. And, um, my vision for doing these summits is just, I think I used to like in my, in my youth or my twenties think, wouldn't it be cool if like, I could just get together with all of the really amazing spiritual people and like, just, just put on a show, you know, like it just collaborate and that's really what these times are about and just i feel like being all of us being connected to each other and making ourselves available to the viewers is is so powerful because all we want to do is share right yeah. we we just want to share and we don't put ourselves above anyone else as teachers we just have our jam and we want to share it so totally yeah our joyful self expression we just we just want to give that's what it is yeah it's beautiful <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a part of it. Thank you for yes. jumping on the live with me. Of course. I'm attempting to get as many of the speakers, um, everybody who wants to on a live at noon Eastern. Now, some are in other countries and they're not available at that time. So I'll be putting in updates, but um, please do, if you want to join the summit and you haven't yet, I will, I will throw a link in there when we're done here. And, um, or you can scroll down on my page. I mean, I'm sure it's all over uh, my, my, page so it's not hard to find and um and just we invite you we invite you to communicate to um to play with us to you know just share what your experiences are of this work because this really is about collaborating and we are all a whole family of light and we're all in this together so thank you to everyone thank you josiah well and, thank you yeah we'll see you soon all right